Hey guys, in my earlier video, we installed Hackintosh on a Ryzen based system. So I thought it would be fun if we ran some benchmarks on it and compared it to my Windows based system. So without further ado, let's get started. So here are other specs for my system. AMD Ryzen 3 2200G clocked at 3.8, overclocked at 3.8 GHz, 8 gigs of DDR4 memory, which is also overclocked at 3200 MHz and a GDX 1070, uh, which is not overclocked, it's stock. Uh, so I ran some benchmarks on it and here are the results. I ran Geekbench 4 first and to my surprise the Hackintosh beat the Windows machine here. So Windows scored 4166 on single core and 11533 on multi core, whereas the Hackintosh scored 4318 on single core and 12603 on multi core. So, there's quite a bit of difference between Windows and Hackintosh here. Moving to the GPS scores, here the Windows machine was better, which is understandable in my opinion because Hackintosh machines were never good on Nvidia GPUs, as the drivers to the 1070 in my build are pretty outdated. I just hope Nvidia and Apple bury the hatchet and we as customers just came from it. So Windows scored 1,63,349 on OpenCL, whereas the Hackintosh scored 1,45,119. Have the drivers been updated? The scores would be a lot different and I believe the Hackintosh would perform better than Windows here. Moving to Geekbench 5, here the story was similar. Windows scored 906 on single core and 2899 on multi core, whereas Hackintosh scored 994 on single core and 2903 on multi-core. Moving to GPUs, I wasn't able to test it because of some software bug in Geekbench 4 for Max. Next up, I ran Heaven on OpenCL and all the settings were either high or ultra. And the Windows machine here won by a huge margin. So the Windows machine scored 2912 with an average FPS of 115.6, the minimum being 9.2 and the maximum being 238.1, whereas the Hackintosh scored a total of 1072 with an average FPS of 42.5, the minimum being 9.7 and the maximum 98.9. That's a huge gap. Next, I ran Cinebench R20 and the results were quite similar. Here, the Windows machine scored 1473 whereas the Hackintosh scored 1476, so similar. In V-Ray, the Windows machine scored 3783 on CPU and 169 on GPU. And the Hackintosh scored 3924 on CPU, but strangely, it did not detect my GPU as the GDX 1070, rather, it took my integrated APU that's Vega 8 and just scored 26. Moving to Corona 1.3, strange, there's a benchmark named Corona. Wow. Here, the render time for Windows was 6 minutes and 59 seconds. That's 419 seconds in total and that of Hackintosh was 5 minutes and 52 seconds. That's 352 seconds on total. So Hackintosh here also won by more than a minute. So here were the results. Have I missed something? Do let me know in the comments below. And since you're commenting, like this video and share it to the friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Salim and I'll catch you on the next one.